how you can use stat crunch for sampling distribution. The sampling distribution of the mean follow a normal distribution. So you can use the normal distribution calculator in, in stat crunch for computing the probability. You will need to use the normal distribution because you know that the normal distribution will be the distribution for the mean. So you go here to stat calculators. So again, I'm repeating. Stat calculator and open normal. You open normal, so it appears the standard normal distribution by default. The mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. This is the standard normal distribution. And you transform the problem to a standard normal distribution following this formula x bar minus mu divided by sigma divided by root of n you are going to get the value z in the standard normal distribution. This is the value that you look in the table, the one that you have here, one. But here, if you want to compute probability of z greater than one, by default, stat can have variable x. Yeah? But you know that in the standard normal distribution, the variable is called z. So you got z greater than one. So change the symbol here more and put one and enter. This is the answer. 0 0.1587, I think, 0 0.1587. So it was more than, but you just more or equal. So the equal in a continuous distribution is not important because the probability of being equal is zero. So don't worry about this. This is in the case that the problem is more than, if the problem is the probability that Z, that X bar, sorry, will be between 4.062, and 4.1. In case that the question is like this, probability that the mean is between two numbers, you need to convert this to the normal distribution. And converting this to the normal distribution is, remember, using the Z score of each of these two numbers. So you get the two numbers and you transform the problem that was in a normal distribution to the standard normal distribution. Now the question is, what is the probability that Z will be between these two numbers, 0 0.62 and 1? So you go on to the stat crunch, you go to the normal, standard normal distribution. Don't worry, here the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. That's good because this is the standard normal distribution. Now the question is that the variable be between two numbers. So choose here at the top in this screen, between. You choose between appears that the variable is between two numbers, yeah? So you can choose the two numbers. So you can choose here, the smallest one is 0 0.62. So this will be 0 0.62, 0 0.62. And the other one is one, it's perfect. So you can compute. Let's start again from the beginning, yeah? Start, calculator, and then go to the normal distribution. By default, they tell you, that X is greater or lower than a number, that's it. But maybe the question is not less than or more than, maybe the question is between two numbers. After you get the Z values, 0 0.62 is the smallest one and one is the biggest one. The variable is between 0 0.62 and one. Click here, between, and now Statron is ready for solving problems when the variable is between two numbers, that's it. You just need to change. Don't change mean and standard deviation because it's always that way. The mean is zero and the standard deviation is one in the standard normal distribution. The smallest value is 0 0.62. Change it to 0 0.62. And the highest number is one. And then press compute. They give you the graph, but the most important is they give you the answer. 0 0.890 is actually the answer. Okay, so that's it. It's a... Let's see another situation for in, in sampling distribution, I guess. There is another one. It's the case when we have a proportion. For example, here, a random sample of 200 is to be taken from a population that has proportion equal to 0 0.45. What is the probability that? There are two questions. The sample proportion will be less than 50% and the sample proportion will be between 40% and 50%. Here in this case was probability that Z less or equal than 1.42. Okay. It's, it's just less than. So in stat crumbs, you get the standard because you saw Z less than. So click here in standard and then less than 1.42. I press just compute 
And the answer that I get was 0 0.9222. The second one was between 40 and 50. I transformed 40 and transformed 50 to using the Z value. Now I get the two C values. And then the only thing that I need to do here is because it now is between, or choose between, negative 1.42, negative 1.42, and 1.42. It was 1.42 and compute. The answer was 0 0.8444, rounded to, to four decimals. Okay, that's it. This, this is the, the sampling distribution for the proportion. It will be again the normal distribution that you know how to use it.